For this video, we're going to talk about number 57, defensive end and offensive lineman Thomas May of Clarkstown South High School, located right here on the screen. And this young man, 6'2", 210 pounds, decent-sized kid. And when you watch Clarkstown South this past spring, I thought he was a steady, productive football player for them in the run and passing game. And it's somebody who plays with violent hands, and his hands help him disengage blockers. But I was also impressed that although 210 pounds is not a very big guy, he also showed he was difficult to move out of the point of attack. And he was able to anchor down and make some plays out on the edge against some of the bigger tackles, which was impressive to me. Um, there are times he shows that he could be explosive out of his stance. I think he could be definitely more consistent with that. But he was an overall impressive football player. Now, things I can work on, I kind of mentioned before, he could definitely work on his strength, which I think will make him a better um, pass rusher and do a better job of disengaging tackles easier. And I also think he can be a little more consistent with his technique. But let's go over a couple plays. I mean, she's right there. You're going to see the pass rush. And you saw signs of this, like he could be a real solid pass rusher. I, he does a really nice rip move right here. So I think he can get out of the stance. Look at the nice quick rip move right there. Gets pressure on the quarterback. Forces a quick throw. And again, he probably could be, you know, if he worked on his strength a little more, it could deliver a little more power before the rip comes. But this is a quick, nice rip move right there. And he gets to the quarterback quickly. And one more time. Nice rip right there. Get to the quarterback. And a little hesitant at the end. But that's something that you can tell. It's all, you know, trying to finish plays. And that'll come with more reps. But here he is again, right here on the end. And this is what I talk about now, anchoring down, right? So watch him anchor down. One-on-one -on -one block, he gets a big tackle. They're going to run right at him. And look at him get his hands inside, and then look at him fight off this guy and make the play. Again, on these kind of plays, this is a one-on-one -on -one play. you got to win the trenches. you got to win the point of attack. He has his hands inside and then the violent hands to move the lineman and make this tackle. Let's go to another play. And it shows another example. It was located right here. And try to run right at it. Okay, and again, one-on-one -on -one blocking with the tackle. Try to seal him. Win the point of attack. And even though he's bigger than him, look at him getting his hands inside. Now, he could have a little bit wider base on contact. But he gets his hands inside. Okay, he's going to see the ball carrier come to him. He's going to disengage his violent hands. And look at him use those hands and then fight to the ball carrier. And you can see, even on initial contact, although being smaller than the offensive lineman, he doesn't move much, right? That shows you some strength right there, even though he could continue to build on it. We're going to fight off and make this play. And again, it starts with where his hands are, right? He has his hands inside the lineman, right? He shows solid leverage, right? He's not standing right up. And this is really important, especially if you're smaller than the guy. Got to use your leverage. You got to use your hands. Got to have a nice base. This is a nice play by him. Let's go to the final play. Right here he is located right here, and I like this play because it shows you know some nice awareness and some nice mobility. They're gonna run the triple option. Okay, so it's three steps on the triple option: one, the fullback, quarterback, keeper, and then they have an option to pitch it. And now quarterback probably makes the initial mistake on not handing the ball in, right? He thinks he's going to close, right? But he doesn't close hard. It's kind of in between, but that's what gets the quarterback to keep the ball. Once he keeps the ball, now he's going to redirect to the quarterback, right? Redirects to the quarterback. Quarterback sees this. Now he's going to try to pitch it. So, again, he plays it in between right here. Once he sees a pitch, he uses his lateral quickness. Let him get outside there and then make this play. Help finish this play off. And he's involved in all three phases of this read. And he helped blow this play up. Let him get out there, look at the pitch, and then fight out there and make this play. Again, this was a, a productive kid this past spring, and I'm excited to see what he works on this offseason.